what's up, y'all? So, okay. Hey, all right, y'all doing? All right, so this is a little shakedown. We're gonna do a little shakedown real quick. But let me just say this. All right, so um, I have been getting a lot of DMs regarding a story I reported on uh, a couple days ago. Now, um, I, I, I went, I, I, no. So I'm the type of person, you hear me, that I, I, I try to be as unbiased and fair as possible when it comes to certain things, right? And it's so, it, that goes into saying that I feel like it, it let me, public opinion is public opinion. Me, somebody who just do stuff or whatever and talk about stuff is just one thing. But I think that the people have a right to have that. I mean, public you could say public opinion is just that, but the public have a right to. I've been around. Like, <laughs> see, well, I've been like I've been here. I pretty much go live every day, even on this platform. But I, I'm on a, a platform called Live Me. So come with me over there. But I, I believe that the, the public have a right to their opinion. So I'm never going to say you don't have an opinion. You have a right to your opinion, especially when the story is being presented to you. All right? So I, to understand what I'm going to say is not to go against the public opinion that the public is inside of the have. I'm not going to say that. But I will say this, that you enforcing your opinion is okay. But I'm saying that it's not, you know what I'm saying? It's in, Investigative journalism is just that. But when you come to just hearing somebody's story, that's something different. And you can forge your opinion on it. Um, I've been to get a lot of DMs about this, that, and the other. And they had a GoFundMe, they don't have a GoFundMe, or something like that. Or whatever the case may be, I don't know. I just allowed the lady to use of my platform to tell her story. If you believe it, you can believe it. If you don't, you don't. I can tell you that as me personally looking into it and just hearing the story, I don't think the woman killed herself. I do not believe that. And I'm standing strong on that conviction because I'm a type of person that believes in the heart. Now, whatever else are behind that, um, I don't know. So you could say it a couple different ways. Uh, how do you feel about the overturning rule versus way? Shake, I really about your opinion. Um, I spoke about that and I really believe personally this is what I think about the Roe versus Wade. Okay? This is it's, it's very important we understand what the word free means. Now, people can always talk about the Constitution and they're gonna talk about the founding fathers and all this stuff and what they meant and what they intended. These founding fathers was white rich men that were slave owners. When the founding fathers was making this country, they didn't. They wasn't thinking in the lines of people. In fact, they wasn't thinking in the lines of people. They was thinking in the lines of themselves. They was thinking. They wasn't. Slavery was still in existence. The women didn't have the right to vote. The women's suffrage didn't have the right to own property. Things like that. So, um, they wasn't thinking about no. Um, they wasn't. They wasn't thinking about no motherfucking. Um, the founding fathers wasn't thinking about people. They wasn't thinking in terms of the future, was thinking about themselves and right then and there. All right? So when they had the mentality of how they do stuff and how they present stuff, when the Supreme Court and the pertinent judge, justices and the Congress and the senators, the, rep the representatives and the presidency and the executive branch, a lot of that stuff would not be even applicable today. Like if you redid it for today, the, a lot of that stuff would just be out the window. Because the founding fathers were thinking for what was going on then and not for the future. And they were thinking for themselves and not for everybody else. Right? Yes. Yes, I am, Winch Twins. And so, my thing is, you heard me? This is my thing. Okay? When we look at forging what this is when Roe v. Wade, a precedent that's been set for 50 years ago. So, 50 years ago, with that Roe v. Wade decision, it said that women have the right to have their own viewpoint about their own bodies regardless if we like it or not regardless if I'm a you know what I'm saying if I pause I'm sorry I just have bad I just, I just see myself having one bar right here girl it might be two bars 
So listen to me. 50 years ago, a lot of black people couldn't vote. Or they had just got the right. 50 years ago, there was no gay rights. Uh, and 50 years ago, it was <laughs> closer to 1776 than 1976. <laughs> you heard me? In mentality wise. So this is what I'm saying. Me personally. As a as a as a as a Christian Southern person, uh, how I was raised, we had the children. Make you make them, you take them. You know that's how we was raised. We always raised like that. But that's my belief. That's my personal belief. I'm not a woman. I don't want to be a woman. I, I couldn't handle it. Y'all do. Y'all have a tough job that only y'all could do. So once I say it, this once. Once, why should I have a decision on what happened to your body? That should not be my decision. That should not be my place. Even though I don't believe in it, or I, I'm not believing it, but I don't. I feel like I, I think that if a woman, her abortion should be between her, the father of the baby, her family, or her faith, or her own, or her, and her doctor. It should never be my decision. I should never be able to vote for that or vote against that. I shouldn't even have that right to vote for it or against it. I shouldn't have to, no senator, no congressman, no motherfucker sitting in Washington in a row with, 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 hey, hey, don't tell my location, girl, now you're doing too much. No motherfucker in a robe sitting somewhere in Washington with a dick should tell you as a woman who is supposed to be free in this country what to do with your body. That's a decision between you, your creator, your family, your whoever you want to talk to, whoever you want to consult with, and your doctor. I, what's next? Tell them people they can't get BBLs? What's up, Trey? I, even though I don't agree with it personally, I don't have to carry no child neither. So how should I have a say in that? That's what I, that, in, in a free country, how could I'm any man have a say in that to be honest with you outside of the man that you created the baby with maybe that should be a decision for between y'all that's not my decision I don't and I think we should vote uh, 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 have a vote to take that decision away from the Congress the, the Supreme Court and all these other people that have the decisions to make decisions about your body you feel what I'm saying even when it comes to so yes what's on the table they're talking about gay rights they talk about women's rights. They don't already t they're, t they're taking women's rights right now, which makes no sense to me because guess what? We all come from a woman. We all, you know what I'm saying? Like, so I don't understand why would you attack half the population? But okay, Supreme Court, y'all get it. This is what I, this, now politically speaking, thank you for, I don't know who asked me that question, but thank you for asking me that question. I want to talk about that because yes, these there are cases Brown versus the Board of Education that talk about segregation in schools. Let's say the Supreme Court say, you know what? <laughs> Guess what? Let's separate them schools, black schools and white schools. Civil rights. Let's say the Supreme Court say, <laughs> let's take that back. Let's talk about the LGBTQ plus community. I'm a member of the LGBTQ plus community. Y'all don't need to get married. Y'all don't have to have rights like everybody else. How can you say you're a free country if you take constantly find ways to take freedoms away? For people, just like they trying to make it so that these people don't exist. And how can you make this decision for me? I just don't understand that. But it comes to this, y'all. Listen, I'm telling y'all. Let's break this down to y'all. Now, of course, this was a Republican agenda from a, from a while back. The Republicans were very much so anti-abortion from girl way back when. Let me put this on and let me put my AirPods on because I want y'all to hear me because I just got something to say about that. Y'all know I know my political stuff. I ain't knew y'all was into that on actually like that, girl. I used to say my political talk for a lot of me, but guess what? <laughs> I was coming through a little shakedown, but girl, since y'all want to talk about it, girl, let's talk about it. Let me tell you what the Republicans do since we want to talk about it. You feel me? The Republicans are saying this. You're going to have that baby. But the programs that you need to take care of your baby, they don't want the white population to thrive. They, of course, they want the white population to thrive, but they have nothing to do with that. If that's the case, they'll let you get your abortions. 
No, 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 no. They want, this is what they want. This is what they want. They want more poor people. You're gonna have a baby, but the programs that you need, the week, we're gonna shorten that up. Uh, the food stamps, we're gonna tighten the budget on that. Uh, the programs, the healthcare, Medicaid, Obamacare, we're gonna take away some of the things. Oh, you need time off for when you're pregnant to pregnancy leave? Oh, we're gonna take that off the table. So the programs that they take that's gonna actually help you to care for this baby properly, nutrition programs and things like that, we're gonna take all that away, but you gonna got to have it. They won't keep you poor, that's what it is. The rich people do not want less poor people. They want more poor people. That's what they want. That's what they want. It's a money thing. It's nothing to do with population. People think it's a population thing and get rid of No, 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 no. The, all the thing that rich people want is more poor people. The more poor people you have, the more rich you are. Walmart don't want less customers, they want more customers. That's why they go to communities, the populated communities with, yeah. We're gonna take away all the programs that you have that we're gonna take away all the programs that you have to take care of the kids, but you gotta you gotta have it. Make it make sense. Uh, Michelle Obama, I swear to God, I wish she run for president. I put that up the other game when she when she broke it down to you. Just how it is. She was like, look, I'm heartbroken about this. Because I could see if there was the proponents of the programs that the mothers need when they're having these kids, but they're not even, they're not, they wanna take all them away. I'll be hoping she. I be hoping she won. I swear to God, I ain't even lying to you. <laughs> if she run, girl, all 17 of my different identities voting for her. That was a joke for the all. Oh, that was a joke. Oh, that was a joke. So listen. Yeah, girl. It's a it's a situation like I don't I just don't understand. So listen, it comes down to the vote. And I'm gonna explain to you on something to what happened. This is where the Republicans just got this from y'all. This is how they got in power. Check this out. Uh, this is how they have something to say right now. 2008, the Democrats won the House, the Senate, and the, everything, the presidency. The three seats, right? Obama was so polarizing that the Republicans said, listen, we're going to make him the enemy. He was going to attack the gap now which galvanized the Republican Party. Listen, 80 to 70 some percent of America that like, that think that women have the right to choose what happens to their own body. So that's not what the people want, that's not democracy. It's like just eight, those 83 percent of the country that was like, we don't, we don't mind marijuana. We don't mind it. If you wanna smoke, let's smile about, no, you shouldn't be out, you should be out here slinging bricks. But also too, if you have, you should decriminalize that at some point. Do you think that's so they're not in line with the people? They are disconnected from the people. But what happened in 2008 was monumental when Democrats had everything they wanted. And so the Democrats got lazy thinking that they were going to have a generation full of whatever. In 2010, by making Obama the enemy, remember how they tried to paint those pictures of my president? They were able, the Republicans, Two things happened. The Democrats just thought that they had it in the bag, so they got lazy, didn't go show up. But the Republicans had somebody an enemy and demonized, so they showed up in records to the midterm elections. This is why these are so fucking important all the fucking time. The ones that we don't go to. Oh, the Democrats is fucked up. I'm gonna get to that in a minute. The Democrats are more fucked up than the Republicans. I don't have no respect for them at all. And I'm gonna tell you why in a minute. But what did he really do for us though, Shaky? What could he do? Nothing, because in 2010, you gave him a Republican Senate and a Republican House who vetoed, who went against everything he was trying to do, who did not let him pass no legislation. Understand that what he did for you, what would you do for him? Because what you, give, what you did in effect was give Obama the gun, but didn't give him the bullets. <laughs> and ask not what you could do. He didn't do nothing for us because he couldn't. Everything that he proposed, even nominating Supreme Court justice, they halted. We're not even bringing that to a vote. Mitch McConnell used to laugh. <laughs> the reason he couldn't get nothing passed, because I was in control of Congress at that time. Stop thinking that it's just him. In the midterm elections, guess what we didn't do? And you can say it 
In 2010, we did not go show up and vote. We did not go vote because we didn't care. We thought Obama had it at. And that's what happened. So at the end of the day, understand you said what he didn't do for us. What he couldn't do. He tried to do a lot, but they vetoed him. Let me tell you something. The first time since Reconstruction, understand this. This is over 100 years. The first, let this go look this up. I'm not lying to you. Look up Mitch McConnell laughing about Obama not appointing judge, judges. And he laughing with Sean Hannity talking about how he couldn't get nothing passed. I was running Congress. Look at this. <laughs> look at this. Look this up. Since Reconstruction, every, for every first lady had their little program passed through Congress unanimously. The first one, the first one since Reconstruction to not was Michelle Obama in 2011, the year after when they passed the budget. They took her, you remember she used to do the program, the uh, exercise, go lose weight with the kids? Uh, Jimmy Fallon, all of them used to do exercise. They put the funding for that and said, nope, you don't even get that. The first first lady since Reconstruction to not have a thing just paid. You got to vote in them local elections, the midterm elections, because what you're doing is you're giving the people the gun, but not giving them the bullets. Don't ask, don't be confused about what he did for us. Look at who really run this show, Congress, your representatives, your state legislatures. That's who really run this. I spit, I'm talking, that's got my, I got a wet mouth, girl, fuck. That don't, oh, I'm spitting facts, okay. <laughs> I was like, I felt like, girl. Listen, that's who run this. The president don't have all that power like y'all think. He can't just do whatever he want. A lot of things he gotta go through Congress for. He gotta go ex Congress for. And a lot of times Congress, when you in 2010, this is what happened in 2010. The Democrats got lazy and the Republicans got, got calculated. They used Obama to scare people to get up and go vote. So even though you had more people thinking with the Democrats and siding with the Democrats, what you had was them just thinking we got in the bag and not going vote. And so the Republicans gonna go vote. They will go vote. And they went out and voted. In 2010, they took the House and they took the Senate from Obama and, they, and Mitch McConnell came into power and that was the hell of telecaptain sense. It's chess not checked. The state legislatures, all of them was swept. It was something like 19 or 23 states got flipped, bop, overnight. And that was the problem. And what the Republicans did after that, they redistricted or gerrymandered. Look this up. They fixed it to where in their districts, they draw the lines. So, okay, they made a little wiggle district for the Democrats and all the rest of it became the Republican districts. But they couldn't do nothing because the Democrats just was lazy. Now in 2000, Okay, so in 2012, Obama got reelected because he still was more popular than what's his name? They, uh, Mitt Romney. Mitt Romney kind of a little fucked up in the head on the slick. Um, and the Republicans didn't really fuck with him either because he do side. Mitt Romney is one of those, those Republicans that go in the middle sometimes. And so the Republicans wasn't fucking with him anyway. And so what happened was Obama got reelected. But again, guess what they're all given? A Republican House and a Republican Senate. So he now has for six years of his presidency, a Republican House and a Republican Senate ran by Mitch McConnell, who didn't let nothing go past him. Now let's talk about, two th now if we want to talk about it, let's talk about then, so that's 2012, let's talk about the 2016 presidential election. The Hillary Clinton, Trump thing. Everybody in their mama was thinking, me too, me too. Trump can't do it at all, period. Period, Serena. Won't you come up here and talk? You be talking, yo. Y'all, if y'all don't follow Serena 504, follow her. She's a very smart lady. She be talking her stuff though, girl. She critical about everything. Follow her. I don't, I don't even do free shots though. She have a um, she's a lady in New Orleans. Uh, she owns a couple business, small black business owner, woman, female business owner, but she also be I be telling her, girl, you need to run for mail. Because girl, they gonna kick you. Girl, bear can't truck come knocking on your door one day. But uh anyway, 2012. Everybody thought ain't nobody voted for no damn Trump. He's a dummy. So we didn't go vote for Hillary. We didn't like her like we liked Obama. And then we, we did, but we just didn't want to go. We just didn't want to go. We just didn't want to go vote for no. We just didn't want to go. We look, we didn't want to go for, for we wasn't coming out the house for her. For Obama, we came out the house. I ain't gonna lie, black people, y'all showed up for Obama, but y'all didn't show up for the people. Y'all for the midterm elections, we dropped the ball. 
Unequivocally. Unequivocally. So here come Hillary. We didn't really too much fuck with her like that. We was all right with her, but we didn't fuck with her like that. So we didn't come out the house for her. And so that's how she lost because we thought she was going to just win it anyway. And so we so we think, oh, I vote it going to matter because she's going to win it anyway. And guess what happened? We got the four years of motherfucking fuck shit that we got. Unless we wasn't ready for a woman. I'm ready for a woman. I'm ready for a woman presently. I'm ready for, I like Kamala. I like Kamala. I like Kamala. I love Michelle. I pray I pray every day Michelle run. I'm ready for a woman president. I think we, I would have been fine with Hillary too. No shit. Over Trump. Over Trump. Now you're dealing with the repercussions exactly. You think Hillary would have put a Supreme Court justice nominee on the bench that would have been like, uh, <laughs> I'm going to overturn that old bullshit stuff? She wouldn't have did that. These are all the Trump nominees that are doing this here. Understand this. Trump nominated two justices. So it wasn't no more 5-4 split. It was not a 6-3 split. Now they could do what they want and run the table. I was ready for Hillary. She ain't the... I don't... I, don't, I think there's best women. Okay. She's she not the best woman, but she's better than Trump. I was ready for a woman president. I really think we just what the hell we need. Every other nation that had a woman queen, president, something, a uh, prime minister, except us. Looking stupid. But that just to go show you what they really think about you. See, th th that mentality, we got to get out of that mentality. I'm a proponent of women's rights, but I'm also a proponent of women's leadership. That's what I'm a proponent of. I have a daughter. I want her to grow up and see that, girl, you can be whatever you want to be. There's no ceiling because you was a woman. You can do whatever you want to do and don't let nobody tell you that. And that's what I tell you. Tell her. He put three on the Supreme Court. God damn. I thought it was two. Oh no, he had that one when he first got in, you're right. And he had that one with the dude retire, and he had one with Ruth Grady Ginsburg. He put three of them bitches on there. Kamala absentee, but what can Kamala do? The president don't have no power. Kamala don't got no power. She just dead in case something happened. Or break a tie. What's the truth? Talk the truth. They teach you to, let me tell you something. Okay. This is what I don't like. This is what I don't like. Let me tell you something. Black people, women, let me tell y'all something. As minorities, the strength that you have is not in dissension, it's in unity. Do y'all understand what I just said? Do y'all understand the words that's coming out? Black people and women, the, the power that you have does not come in dissension, it comes in unity. You cannot all the time, you cannot all the time subject the people that are stepping up to the plate because they're stepping up the plate. You have, let me tell you something. Trump did not win because he was smart. Trump, he was a dummy, obviously. Trump did not win and still exert so much influence because he's such a great leader. Trump got there because white people, white men are unified. They are unified. They do not care. They will stick together. No matter if he's a dummy, no matter if he's a racist, no matter what, they're gonna stick together with their own kind. So this is what we have to do as black people and y'all have to do as women and black people and black and people who support women. You have to just say, listen, okay, Kamala might not be the best choice, but she's the only one stepping up to the plate. So let's not ourselves Cause constantly second guess her and just say, listen, she black enough, she woman enough, let's go ahead with it. I I I was on another app and I swear to God I cussed the bitch out from head to toe for playing with playing with uh sister Kentaji Brown, the um Supreme Court. Now I don't give a fuck what she did. I would listen, Trump told y'all himself, he said, bitch, I could go shoot somebody on in New York Times on in Times Square and then they're gonna fuck with me. You know what? He was right. But let a black woman try to do something and have one thing wrong. A parking ticket. An uncle that went to jail. Something, whatever the fuck they was talking about this woman. Oh, I ain't support her because she got this, she got that. No. I'm going to support. She black. That's all I need. Check. She black. That's it. Oh, she black. That's good enough for me. I wouldn't give a fuck if she was smoking crack on, at my house. I wouldn't give a fuck. She black. She got my vote. She got my support. Because they sticks together. And they make shit happen. One thing about them Republicans that I got to, you got to say what it is and what's the truth. Y'all want to talk facts, let's talk. 
Baby, them Republicans, they, when they get that, they wouldn't give a fuck what the Democrats say. They go real that power. They get that power, bitch, they show their ass. The Republicans, I must, I got to give y'all y'all respect. Girl, see what I'm telling the truth? They don't like that. that see what you said that truth? <coughs> Let me get on my other phone. See when you tell that truth, you lag. When you be saying that truth, they start reporting. Let me tell you something. They didn't care what Trump did. They didn't care what Trump did. What is it in his past? Girl, why don't I have no service? Y'all hear me? Listen, I got to get a Republicans they props, bitch. Cause what they do, right, wrong, or anywhere in between, they gonna stick together. They'll take something they know is wrong and turn that shit the fuck around for themselves. Let me say, they know that shit was wrong for January 6th, but guess what? The Republicans turned that shit around and made it, y'all worry about January 6th? Look at the gas prices. Go wait, and then the bitches, and a bitch like me, like, bitch, you ain't lying. You ain't motherfucking lying, bitch. I just drive a lot. I done forgot all about January 6th. I don't give a fuck what they talking about. Bitch, why is these gas prices so high? The Republicans go speak together, girl. Right, wrong, or anywhere in between. So listen, if the Republicans stick together, right, wrong, or in between, and they always winning, even when they lose, they still winning. Even when they lose, we can't get a break. What do that tell y'all we have to do? that tell you we have to take a page from the winner's book. It's not rocket science. We have to stick together. Guess what Kamala did? She stepped up to the plate unlike all the rest of these women that didn't want to step up to the plate. Guess what Kataji Brown did that all the rest of the women did? She stepped up to the plate. So I'm not going to question. I'm going to support. I'm going to go. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. They stick together. They, they, don't, they don't have no master plan. They're not smarter than the bear. They just stick together. Right, wrong, or in between. If that person step up to Trump stepped up to the plate, they're like, man, we know this bitch is a dummy fuck. But guess what? We're gonna support him anyway. This motherfucker, what's his bitch name is? Matt Gates. I know this bitch is a dummy. This bitch got a whole child molestation charge or some shit. Paid a 17-year-old hooker. But guess what? He's one of us. God damn it, we're gonna stick for him. But let motherfucking Kataji Brown uncle that got nothing to do with her catch a charge 40 years ago before she was even fucking born. We gonna hang her to the cross. Let Kamala, oh Kamala not black enough, her mama India. What happens if you got a drop of black in you, you're black in it, black, black, black. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Hillary, no Hillary ain't for she's a woman, stick with her. It don't matter. Because they gonna stick together regardless. She's a woman. Democrats, I don't have no respect for them bitches at all. Let me tell you why. And as a person who, who considers themselves Democrat, I feel like this. Let me tell you why I got respect for them bitches. First of all, the Democrats have habitually took for granted the vote of my people, the black people. They have habitually took that for granted. They just figured they gonna get it regardless. That's not the case. Bitches, y'all need to start, first of all, appreciating the black vote. That's very important, Democrats. I need y'all to acknowledge that. I don't need Nancy Pelosi, ugly, skeletal looking ass standing up there, no fucking, uh, <laughs> what the fuck she had on one time? Kneeling down to my fight the power, bitch. Did you do, we need you to do something, not look the, not, not talk the talk. Bitch, we need you to walk the walk. That's what we need you to do. That's number one. Number two. If Mitch McConnell, let me see something. Let me show you how Mitch is. Let me show you how Mitch. Mitch McConnell is the leader of the uh, of the Senate for the Republicans, so he's the minority uh, leader right now. 
But before that, he was the majority leader. Let me show you how Mitch McConnell played in your face. Watch this. When they got power, they're gonna wield that power and show you who's the fuck got power, who got big nuts. Mitch McConnell, Obama nominated Merrick Garland about a year before he was supposed to leave office. Mitch McConnell said, wait, this is just too close to vote for this and put this man up here on the Supreme Court. It should be chosen by the next president, whoever that person may be. Now this is a year before. It was too close, he said, before that. Ruth Bader Ginsburg died a month before the November election. And they rushed Janet Coney Barry in there so fast, he was like, look, this president has to make a decision. So if it was a year too close, a month got to be really fucking close, right? And he didn't give a fuck what the bitch thought about it. He didn't give a fuck what you thought, bitch, I got power, I'm gonna give a fuck what you think. The Rep Chuck Schumer, Nancy Pelosi get power, then please, can we please do this? Bitch, if you really was like that, Cause the Republicans would have took that motherfucking if the shoe was on the other foot, Mitch McConnell would have took that fucking filibuster off your fucking off the fucking table so fast and passed the legislation. Cause what it looks like is for the last two years, all your Democrats really did was stick around with a thumb up their fucking asshole. Fuck the Democrats for real. And the Democrats ain't said a fucking thing to Mitch McConnell. They don't play with that nigga. That turkey neck bitch, they don't play with him at all. And he ain't even got no power in him, was supposed to be. But they still, please, can we get a few Republican senators? Please, please. Bitch, Mitch McConnell never asked y'all please for a bitch ass thing in his life, and he ain't gonna do it tomorrow. Man, the Republicans been gangster since before Bush. The Republicans been gangster since Reagan. And didn't give a fuck. The only person I ever saw the Republicans even give a little piece of shit to was Clinton. They, they hated Obama, they really hate Joe Biden. Everything he do, Joe Biden running around here going to sleep, shaking hands with the air bitch, fucking falling off the bicycle. The fuck wrong, girl, Jesus. Girl. <laughs> fuck this motherfucker falling off the bicycle, bitch, shaking hands with the motherfucking air. Girl, what the fuck going on? Man. He fucked me up with that one. <laughs> God, I thought they said you never, you never forget how to ride a bicycle. I can't talk about it because my big ass get off the bicycle, I probably fall off too. But goddamn, where the sick service was at? Nobody help him. What the fuck, girl? Oh, Jesus. Got this motherfucker here. At least he had on the motherfucking helmet. That's the only thing. He had on that helmet, bitch. He was, he was old, with, bitch. Them Republicans, I respect their motherfucking mind, girl. I'm sorry. Because them bitches gangster. Whatever they say, it's going to go regardless of their power or not. They're going to fix the system to where it worked for them. And the Democrats are too scared to change it. Chuck Schumer, take the filibuster off the table. That way you only need 50 votes. Take the filibuster. You only, if this was the game, he only need 50 votes to take the filibuster off the table. To, the filibuster is not constitutionally protected. Take it off and pass some legislation because all you did for the last two years was nothing. Under, you, you can't even get, listen, everybody want the gas card. Everybody want the tech, listen, look at this. Before y'all blame it on Biden, let's look at what happened. They put up Biden, before you look at it, the student loan, forgiveness, sent it through at 50,000. They, they said, oh, we're going to fill the bus today. Ain't no use to Friday. The Republicans said, nope. They did it through at 10,000. Nope. Another stimulus when it was going on back then. Nope. We got one stimulus under Biden, but it was coming through under Trump anyway. So just in case y'all didn't know. Nope. The, um, what the other act that was? The motherfucking, um. Uh, all that shit that the motherfucking tried to do. And the Republicans was like, girl, y'all got to be out your fucking mind. If y'all think we finna pass any of this shit. Not everybody, oh, the marijuana thing was another thing that was trying to pass. That passed the House, got to the Senate. <laughs> Mitch McConnell like, <laughs> bitch. Listen. Oh, Biden said we gonna try to get y'all gas cars. The Republicans say y'all out your mind. The motherfucking... <laughs> Biden said we're going to give y'all a gas tax holiday. 
Mitch McConnell said, that's not the fucking problem. The problem you, bitch. <laughs> that's what's happening. They got a senator named Joe Manchin. He's from Kentucky. He's a nice user. I'm sorry. West Virginia. He's a Democrat. Uh, Mitch McConnell from Kentucky. Joe Manchin from West Virginia. But a lot of his constituents are Republicans. And so he go by what his people going to go for him. So these people in West Virginia are holding this man by the nuts to where he going to choke whole of Democrats so they don't even really have a majority. They don't even, all that stuff that they try to sign, the Republicans ain't doing that. So, what's the, so, okay, let me get to the solution real quick. We have to understand this real, real quick and understand what the solution is. The solution comes from one thing only. Number one, you can't just go vote for president and think it's okay. Let me tell you something. They're going to tell you your vote don't count. Let me tell you how you know your vote count. They're going to tell it. They want that in your brain so you don't use that right. But let me tell you why you know their vote count. Because throughout history, they have been trying to keep you from doing it. If you think about it, black people and women combined. When they, the Constitution, founding fathers, you or women did not have the right to vote. Black people did not have the right to vote. Why, if, if, if our vote don't count, why did they try to keep it from us? Why was civil rights, civil rights movement and root was not just the, the continual, continual to it of black people, but was rooted in the, the voting process? When it comes to the Jim Crow laws and stuff of the South, why? Because if we vote, your vote obviously counts. Why do you think your grandmother, your aunties, your titties, and all of them great grandmas and stuff was all on the outside getting beat by dogs, getting beat, excuse me, getting beat by the police, getting dogs sicked on them, getting motherfucking, getting holes down, maze down, beat down, sped on, if your vote don't count. Why would they do that if the vote don't count? The vote counts. The vote matters. Think about it. But this is what we thought. We take for, we, just like they take our vote for granted, we take for granted that we got to go every time them polls open. Your local elections, your state elections, your city elections, your county elections, the parish elections, all of them things matter because they send, it's a trickle up effect. Because they send to, they are the ones who determine the districts. They're the ones who determine well, what this is and what this is and that affect you on a daily basis. There are going to be some states that do have abortion because they went out and elected the people that's going to keep it in their state. There's going to be states that still have uh, gay marriage and black rights and all this stuff like that because they elected those people that's going to keep it in place. Now, the states that you don't, y'all not vote. Let me tell you something. And this is the next thing y'all got to do. Not just vote, but we have to, as black people and women, I'm not a woman. I do advocate for women right as a father, as a father of a daughter, as a son of a mother, and as the brother of a sister. I would, of all strong black women to me, I will say this. So as an advocate, women, y'all got to stick together. Stop having that crab in the bucket mentality. You might not like Kamala. You might not like Kataji Brown. You might not like Stacey Abrams. I know how you don't like her. She's the smartest black woman. One of the smartest black women I've ever seen in my entire life. Go follow Stacey Abrams. Just like we follow the mess and Beyonce and all this other stuff and Real Housewives, go follow Stacey Abrams. Follow her now, right now today. This is a smart sister. I listen to this sister talk. She really got a good, I don't know, I don't know what's the problem in Georgia for y'all, and I go to Georgia a lot, and I like Atlanta and everything, but this is a sister, she really the queen of Atlanta, y'all. This is a smart sister. Oh my God. And it's just, I don't know what the, why, I don't know why more people don't know that. She should have a billion followers on this motherfucker. I don't know what the, I, we are we finding the craziest motherfucker, stupidest ass bitch, motherfucker doing TikTok. Me, I'm one of them, I'm one of them crazy, stupid motherfuckers that do stupid shit. Me, I'm one of them. I'm, I'm, but listen, every now and then I'm going to talk some good shit too. Go follow this sister. I don't even do free promotion. Follow things. We got a lot of smart black leaders that is stepping up to the plate. Black women leaders. But you're going to have a couple of black people. <laughs> she did this. She did this. I don't like her husband. She got on this. I don't give a fuck what she do. I don't care if they find Stacey Abrams is selling crack. I'm going to support her. If a black woman is doing something, I'm going to support her. Now, I, in the past, have been critical of the map of the city which, in which I live. New Orleans, Louisiana. I have been critical of her. Yes, I have. However, that is a unique situation adjacent to what's going on with her and what she's done here. 
I'm not saying don't criticize, but if Latoya Cantrell decide tomorrow she want to run for governor, and the other op, and the other, and even though I don't like her as mayor, and let's say she run for she can't run for mayor again uh, in New Orleans for uh, either, either one or two terms. I think you're gonna do two terms. They gotta sit out a term or something, something like that. I can't think about what they do. Like. And she's running against the white man, even because she's a black woman, that's enough for me. That don't mean I'm not gonna criticize some of the crazy ass shit she do, but that also mean I'm going to support her because it's stepping up to the plate. Wh who else we got? Because guess what? If there was a white man and he did some crazy ass shit, guess what the white people was gonna do? They was gonna support him. So I'm gonna support the black sister, the black woman. I'm gonna support him. <laughs> she said, I'm gonna drag her outfit. I'm gonna support her, not Cantrell. Her. But if she was running against a white man, what is our options? Cantrell versus John Bell Edwards. Who you got? I gotta go with Trelly. She's a black woman. Even though I think I, I think them synthetic she be, <laughs> look like he's about to fly off and she be getting drunk. I don't know what the fuck she was doing at the round four nine concert like she's four, like she's twenty one. <laughs> but hey, she's a black woman. I support her. I got no choice. I gotta stand on them words. And so at the end of the day, it's kind of like this, black people. This is what we have to do for real. This is what we have to do. You know how back in the gap. This is how we used to live in the city. Oh, this is how we used to live. This is how we was brought up. I could talk about my brother all day long, but you better not talk about him. I could cuss out my cousin every day I want to, but you better not cuss out. Because we got the things. So listen, when it comes to our leaders, that's fine. Amongst ourselves, we could do that. What's up, Teresa? How you doing, baby? But guess what? You can't let them do that. You can't let them see us not unified. That unity is a motherfucker because that unity is the one thing that got them doing what the hell they want to do and got us looking like, God damn, what they going to take away from us next? Their unity. We have to, these all these older black people, these older black people, they're not crazy. You got to get that sage old advice. Don't just go eat the macaroni and cheese that Graham talk. Listen to what she's talking about sometimes. She be known. Just because just your auntie told you come and get some shit and cook some collard greens and all this. And, oh, go listen to what she talk about because they know what they talk about. They'll put in, a, in some sage old advice. And some of the advice they used to tell you is really applicable today. You want a better community for your children. You want your children to be able to have to live in the, in the world where they're not judged by who they are, who they love, who they uh, a mistake that they made. Guess what? You got to get out there and you got to do something that y'all don't be liking to do for some strange reason. And that's vote. Because it starts right there. It starts right there. That's where it starts from. That's where it begins from. That's where it ends at. That's where everything at. It starts right there. We do not, we do, we, listen. The Republicans are showing you we do not live in a democracy. We live in a republic. You know what that means? The difference is a democracy is directly tied to what the people want. A, rep a republic is directly tied to what the people we put in office want. Understand that. A republic is where you don't vote on the laws, you vote for the people who go vote on the laws. A democracy is more directly tied to the people. And guess what? Guess who hurting right now? The people. This is what the stories you're going to hear. Then I took this abortion away, right? This is what you're going to hear. Listen to me. And this is a tough and true facts. You can believe it. You can not believe it. You can take it how you want. Because I'm a real ass bitch. And I was throwing toe to toe with anybody who think that is not what you're going to see. You're going to see people who made a mistake. There might be a little young girl. 17, 18 years old. Might have made a mistake. Right? She cannot get an abortion legally. So that means she's gonna do it in a legal way. That she's not gonna stop people from doing nothing. She's gonna find somebody that's doing it for five hundred dollars in a hotel room, motel room. All right, pay. 
You gonna find somebody, you gonna, they gonna, she, she gonna be taking all this pill, drinking bleach, sticking hangers up her, damaging her life forever. Compounding the mistake. And instead, she could have went and had a safe situation. There's somebody right now, a young lady, that's probably living in a house with a, with a man that her mama messed with. Mama going off to work, trying to make a better life. The man might be taking her, doing anything to what we talk about. She wind up getting pregnant. Mama blame her, put her out. And she gonna go in the back alley somewhere and do something to herself because in her state, she can't go and find out what options are available to her. That's what you're gonna see. She can't go find out what's on the table for her. All she knows is that she can't, the clinic where she was gonna go or the doctor that she was gonna go see cannot help her in that way or do what it is. So she might take her life and the baby life. You're gonna see the suicide rates among that set go up. That's what you will see. And I hate that. I hate that because it directly affects us. I have gone on record. My sister R.I.P. had a backdoor hanger abortion in the old desire house of project in the 70s. I'm so sorry to hear that. D Let me tell you something. I don't agree with abortion. But I'm going to tell y'all a close friend of mine. I'm not going to say no name. And I, I don't, I'm going to change enough so no product to try to figure out who I'm talking about. But they had a, uh, a issue where they were not able to care for the child properly. And when they went to uh, a plan here, there was one on Claymore, I believe. Uh, when it was allowed. We went there. That's where we went. On Claymore in New Orleans. And uh, she didn't get the... She, she, she didn't... She didn't... She wound up not getting an abortion, but she went through uh, with an adoption thing. And it, it turned out all right. Uh, trying to change some stuff up. But uh, long story short is, they don't just say, okay, hey, let's pass out abortions. No. You have to go through, like, you have to talk to the people and confirm and talk. I don't know if there's some, some psychological stuff. I didn't go in, like, I remember, yeah. So, you know, it's not like, you know, you just, I think for her, she needed to hear the options available before she did something to herself. And that's what the print I'm trying to make. You don't, they don't all, this, and so if this is a, a medically, and so it's like this decision should not be based on somebody that I voted for two years ago, for her. The options on the table should include options that's for her, that's medically necessary for her. You have, yeah, you don't have to get the counseling anymore. You can get abortion if you want one. No, and not well. I just changed that. You can't get a motherfucking thing in some states. But I thought, well, when I went with her, and it was some years ago. It was not. This is not no time recent. I will say this. But when it, when it was on on Claiborne, you had to go through the counseling. Now I don't know how they do it now. I'm not, you know. I don't know. I don't know. I I, I will be honest with you. I'm ignorant to that effect. And if you say they don't got to go through the counseling, I can't. I have nothing to dispute that. But but Sir, Ms. Serena works in, in the medical field, so she says there's counseling. So she works in the middle. She's a licensed, uh, she, she got uh, a, a lot of stuff. Re regardless, that's not the perm. My perm is, why are we not? This is not my decision to make. I'm a man, how can I make a so you? How can you make a, how can I make a decision for a woman when it has something to do with her medical stuff? That's like me telling y'all, y'all can't have, okay, birth control out the thing. Or, or, or you can't, you know what I'm saying? Or whatever, you know, oh, fuck. Oh, all y'all can't use summer's eating anymore. Y'all gotta use masking. I don't know. How can I, as a woman, as a, as a man, decide for a woman what's right for her health in any capacity? What's to stop them to say that, you know, tomorrow let's take BBLs off it? <laughs> y'all can't get bust. We want all y'all with flat booties. That's not. <laughs> man. It's not the perk whether you agree with the abortion or not. It's the perk, and because we don't know everybody's situation, there could be rape, there could be incest, there could be just, just the fact of, of of what that child wants for their life. There could be her psychosis. It could be a situation where the mother is 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 sick and carrying the baby to term is a thing. You know what I'm saying? It's so many things. It's so many different things that we could look at and say we don't understand it exactly. And so that so I'm what what, what that says to me is that the the decision should not be made by Supreme Court justices who are 60, 90, 80 million years old with a
put a robe on Sidney Washington with dicks in it between their legs, making the decisions for people that's living life. What happens? What happens when they decide to take away civil rights? The Constitution was written for white men property owners. What's to stop them from taking those rights away? You know what's stopping them? Us voting. See, this is what, I, this is what, what pissed me off. Chuck Schumer, a Democrat, pussyfooting around because Mitch McConnell would have been zapped that filibuster away from them. Bye! Mitch McConnell would have been took that away. Chuck Schumer should have zapped that filibuster. And Biden should have packed that fucking court with, listen, he needs four, he, listen, <coughs> the two things that the Democrats have right now that they could do, but they're not doing it for some reason, but we should have spoken sooner. You're right. We should have. We should have spoken sooner, but we didn't, and so this is where we at right now. You heard me? This is where we at right now. We should have spoken sooner, but this is where the fuck we at right now. We have to nip this in the bud. As a person that's LGBTQ+, and if y'all fucking with me, y'all got to at least like one gay person. Shouldn't I, I ain't get married? <laughs> I'm just not doing it. But guess what? Whose decision should that be? Not Congress decision. Not the Supreme Court decision. That should be mine. That should be my decision. It should not be. You should. That shouldn't be on the ballot. Civil rights. Where your kids go to school? Should they go to a black school or the white school? Should there even be a black and white school? They could y'all y'all know the Supreme Court could take that down right now, right? And then y'all could do. Y'all know that, right? The segregation? They could they could zap that right now. They just showed you they zapped something that was 50 years old. Segregation only preceded the segregation only preceded the abortion bill by seven years. Y'all know that, right? Do y'all understand? What this is, the message this is sending, we're gonna do the fuck we wanna do. It only preceded it by seven years. It's a seven year gap from civil rights to the women's reproductive rights. That's it. Guess what? Women, black people, gay people, Y'all have become a target. Rich white men are trying to tell you this is their country and this is what's gonna happen. You're gonna do what they say and that's what's gonna be it. And there's nothing you can do about it. But there is something you can do about it. Let's first of all hold these motherfucking pussyfooting ass, scary ass Democrats accountable. They talk about make the Republicans feel it. No, bitch, we want to make you feel it. Because Democrats, there's something you can do right now. It may not be popular, but this is what you can do. You can, number one, take away the, 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 the Constitution does not set a maximum number of justices on the Supreme Court. Biden can nominate justices every day of the week if he wants to. He's the president. That's, the, that's one of the powers he does have. So he can nominate four judges right now, which would give the Democrats a majority. That's number one we can do and can fix this shit. He could do that. But first he would need Chuck Schumer to get rid of the filibuster, which he could do right now. He has the votes to do that. If the Democrats stood together and said, listen, we're gonna get, get unity. So we could call our Congress, we could call our senators and say, listen, what, when y'all when y'all got rights to my uterus, or when y'all got rights to anybody's uterus, <laughs> when y'all got rights to that? Do we have rights to y'all penises? No. No. So why do you have a right to my Gucci? If I ain't got a right to your God, the fuck wrong with you? That's what they just told you. And then they told you this too. It's gonna stop when they wanna stop. Clarence Thomas, y'all, if y'all don't follow the executive team, go follow them. Um, but anyway, the executive team just posted Clarence Thomas said we need to revisit a couple more things then. We need to revisit some of these civil rights stuff. He just said that. Black man, he Republican though, that's what they gonna tell you. He one of them. They don't say nothing about that. <laughs> I'm gonna pull it up and see what he said. 
exactly what he said. Let's look at let's let's talk about it. Don't want to talk about it, let's motherfucking talk about it. Clarence Thomas says the Supreme Court should reconsider rulings that currently protect the right to same-sex marriage and contraceptive. Justice Thomas concerned. That's the, so what that's telling you, we're not stopping here. The fucking, the black member of the Supreme Court just said can't stop, won't stop, Rockefeller forever. We down, nigga. We down. That's what he just told y'all. We should reconsider a few other things. Justice Thomas concurs. This is what they're saying. Okay? Justice Thomas concurs saying overruling Roe isn't enough. It's not enough. For that reason, in future cases, we should reconsider all of the court's substantive due process precedents, including Griswold, Lawrence, and Abergefell. That's the rights of privacy, contraception, marriage equality, amongst other things. <laughs> this is just the first stop. If you're a woman, black person, or gay person in America, and you ain't on the phone with Chuck Schumer and them, understand with the world that they're crafting for them. They're crafting the world for them to continue, even though they are not the minority. Even though they're, excuse me, even though they're not the majority anymore. Even though they don't have it all and we're starting to figure it out and be woke and starting to have things and we're starting to have black women here and black women there. See, I think this is what Obama did for them. He said, it was like, to them it was like, oh no. Like, okay, we give you niggas some free rights and shit, and y'all taking it a little overboard now. And so then you got Kamala, they don't like her at all. And Kataji Brown and the first black secretary of defense and all. Uh -uh. This was a little too much for them. This was a little too much for them. And so what they're gonna do is remind you who really run this motherfucker. That's what this is. Period. I like that shot BFF with Ritik. You said a mouthful right there. But if, so if Obama shook something up for them, their reaction should shake something up for us. And we need to go vote like we did when Obama was running. I like Maxine Waters, but they never gonna give her no time because girl Maxine do too much, girl. Maxine be up now. <laughs> but let me see something about Maxine Waters, girl. Y'all can say what she want about your Max sister Maxine. She be on the scene. She be having them synthetic wigs and they about to fly off her head for real, for real. But girl, she be on the scene. If something going down, she's there. You can't say she not there. They stopped liking her because of, because some she was drinking or something. What, what, what was the thing for her? They called her drinking or some stupid ass shit like that. It's like, girl, let her that titty get us some fucking alcohol, bitch. You motherfuckers have all these sex orgies and shit in your home saying nothing about that. She give them the business now. They don't like that. A black woman, see they are, like, listen. A black woman talking they shit and don't give a fuck about them and just like bitch fuck with, like, they, they don't like that. Joe Biden needs to put people in these positions that don't, don't leave with his pregnancy because all the people will be appointed, will be home with the exception of Katasha Brown Jackson. Well, yeah, she not gonna be, yeah, she's, she's, when you, when she, she gonna be there for life. She's there until she retires or she passes. So, but they can't be like when when a new when a, when a new president come, he gets to put his own people in his own cabinet and stuff. You, you know what I'm saying? That's they, they have a right to that. He don't have to deal with their cabinet. Uh, okay, I like Maxine. They just be hating on her for no reason, girl. She had did that. I, something she had did a while back. She got drunk or some shit. Oh, she no. This is what she did. What, wait, wait, wait. No, this is what happened. She had her um when they put the metal detectors in Congress, her stuff beeped, but she had a little flask, right? That what she did, and she cussed them out like all these bitches up here with guns. You stopping me because of my motherfucking my little? She had a little flask. That's what it was. She she wasn't even drunk. She just had her little one too. And so they had it ever since. She told the motherfuckers, "Bitch, fuck you. Get out of my face." 
I'm a bitch, I'm a fucking congresswoman, bitch, and walked up in there like ain't nothing was wrong. They was trying to tell her she couldn't bring her flask on the Congress floor, whatever the fuck she was doing. And she was like, bitch, I better get the fuck out of my face. I'm a whole fucking congresswoman, bitch. <laughs> That's what the fuck was wrong. She it was stuff about I knew it was stuff about some alcohol, girl. But girl, fuck. I she talk her shit and I fuck with Maxine. We have black leaders. We have black women leaders. But we as black people tear them down more than the white people. We got to stand with them regardless. If Maxine will get a little drunk, that's okay. If if you know what I'm saying, if whatever the case would be. If Katanji uncle, whatever the fuck he did 40 years ago, that's not, we, it's okay. We have to stand and be unified and we have to go vote. We have to go vote. That's what we have to do every single turn. Whatever, I don't give a damn about me. I don't care, if my, I'ma still support Maxine. I wouldn't give a fuck if they had crack in her little flags, bitch. I, that's what I'm, it's not the perk of what they did. They stepping up to the plane. Black people, we have this ideology, our vote don't count. Nothing matters, the system against us. And in some ways you're right, it is. And I'm gonna agree with y'all. But if we don't go use it, how could it ever count? If we don't uh, uh, take steps to learn the system and change the system, how could that ever be? How could it be for us? We have the numbers. We have the people. We just have to be unified, y'all. You know? Everybody ain't gonna be perfect. They show. They show. They give you the game every day. They give you the game every day. They show you. No matter what, we sticking together. We don't care if the if our leaders is a crackhead, a racist, a pedophile, or whatever, we going we still gonna support him. Look up Matt Gates. Matt Gates is the leader of the of the caucus in the house. For Marjorie Taylor Greene, you know this bitch is a, 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 a I know I wouldn't give a fuck about Marjorie Taylor. Marjorie Taylor Greene got to be smoking something I wouldn't give a fuck with nobody else say. Guess what they do? They support the fuck out of them. They support the fuck out of them. They support the fuck out of them. They gonna go to the polls for their people. And we need to do B Speaks. What's up, sister? How you doing? Oh, we got all the smart girls here today. That's the arena, B Speaks, everybody up here. All the smart girls up here today. They gonna be traveling for abortions? No, baby. No, baby. If they can't take care of baby, how they gonna get the, how they gonna travel for the abortion? You know what they're gonna do? They're gonna go to these back alley abortions, these people performing abortions in motel rooms, take this pill, drink it, bleach, all this other shit. That's what they're gonna be doing. They're not gonna travel for no abortion. They're not gonna travel for that. These women can't afford to take care of everybody gonna afford to travel. I gotta go to California to abortion. My mama boyfriend molested me, and now we now I got to go travel to California. I'm gonna do that. I just turned 18. No, they're gonna be doing these back alley abortions. They're gonna be they're gonna be depressed, committing suicide, and all this other stuff like that. That's what they're gonna be doing. That's what you're gonna see go up. It ain't gonna travel. They're not gonna take a trip or vacation. No man. You know what they're gonna be doing? They're not gonna be doing that. They're gonna be they're gonna do all them. What was going? They wasn't traveling in the '70s. You know what they was doing? They was making it. They was they was doing it in the corner, in the alley, it, damaging their body, damaging their mental. They was doing it in motel rooms and all this other stuff. Taking bills, drinking bleach, and all this other shit. That's what they was doing. A black market. That's what they was doing. That's what they finna do. You're gonna see the suicide race go up. You're gonna see the medical race go up when they do that. Sticking hangers in their, their stuff and all this other stuff. That's what you're gonna see. That's what they're gonna do. They're not gonna travel. They're not for the travel. They don't want to see Oh, we go to Cali. I need a motion. No, 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 no. Let me say something. And I, I don't know. Okay, so I, I, I'm going to say this though. But in my opinion, I just don't think that me as a man or any man on the face of the planet Earth should be able to pass legislation or pass some law or whatever that tells a woman what she can and cannot do with her body. I personally don't like the idea of abortion, but I also don't have to take it, I don't also have to carry a baby for nine months, so therefore I don't have a right to speak on it. I don't have a right to vote on that. That shouldn't even be on the table for me. 
that that foreclosure was in the lady house. I don't have a right to tell you what you could do with your body. I don't have a right. Why do I? Why can I vote for somebody to go vote for that? Why is that a thing in a free country? Why you as a woman don't have a freedom to make a choice for yourself? Or if you have to consult, I don't mind them putting restrictions on it because I agree with this part that before you have one, you have to have the little counseling session. I don't mind that. I think that's fair. I think that's fair. If before you have one, you got to have a counseling session because I know like Serena said, they used to do that. At least they, from my, my knowledge, they still do that. You can't just go say, okay, I want one and get it today. You have to go through the counseling session or whatever. I don't mind that at all. If you go through the counseling session by a doctor and the doctor clears you, I don't have nothing else to say about that. I don't have a bitch ass thing to say. Who the fuck am I? Or who the fuck is Clarence Thomas or um, John Roberts or January Coney Barrett to make a decision for you as a woman about your body? She know you, she know what you go, like she know you, like she know what you're going through, like she know your situation. You are a woman. You have a right to do what you want to do. You should be able to do this. There's no question about it. I hate this. I hate this, man. I hate this. I don't agree with it. And I, this is coming from a person who don't agree with it. We grew up in a church. We didn't believe in it. We thought it was wrong. Okay, cool. But that's wrong for us. That don't mean it's wrong for you. Your body, your choice. None that, none that. And even if you choose not to do it, it's, you need to know your options because that plays on you psychologically. And the decisions you make going forward. Definitely. Well, girl, you ain't got to even ask, girl. You coming. I just don't get it. I tried to add you. Oh, there you go. I am. You <laughs> Why are you so breaking up? Just because I got on here. I don't know. Y'all can hear me? I hear him. We can both hear They be saying that about them Android. But look, I have one. So y'all leave me alone with my Android. <laughs> Look, I just want to say I'm going to go here because this has been a such a go for me shaking. You got me up in this car screaming because you're saying everything I've been saying. But this is what I want to say. Okay. Yeah, bring the baby down there, right? But we ain't going to fix crime. We're not going to fix the schools. We're not going to fix the streets. We're not going to fix the police brutality problems. Bring the kids into what? Right. You don't think that they skipped a whole lot of stuff that we need to be paying attention to? And they need attention to having a You're not educating our children. You're not fixing our streets. You're not fixing our schools. We don't have to to help them. Like we're supposed to. And we're going to bring children into it. But for you to make sure you can do race and ethos, when you also don't have people that have that need mental treatment trained a lot about what you think about how it feels to carry the baby. Because there's a whole lot of women out there right now that have had abortions that need counseling. You have a lady that's going to be 12, 13, 14 years old. She got raped and got pregnant. And she already living with a struggling mom. She barely has the education. In time where everything matters, everything matters, everything matters. And so when it comes to this situation, to me, I don't think, you know, we, the, it's overwhelming fact that America, by far, 70, 78%, if I'm not mistaken, was the last thing, that said it is a woman's right to choose. This is a message. This is deeper than, it's abortion is, is at root. But this is deeper than that. This is them telling you, we don't care what America thinks. We don't care what you're going through. We're going to do what we want. And this was kind of like them testing the water to show you that there is more to come. LGBTQ plus rights, women's rights, civil rights, all these things, that's on the table. If I can take this away, all those things were decided by Supreme Court cases. There's a case that goes... But well, watch this. Watch this, Shaky. 
happened what they showed us was something that you talked about. This is about voting too. Because what people don't understand is the Supreme Court took it off of them and put it on your state officials. That's what this is this was going on. So your governor that you put in place is gonna let you know how you feel. We be so busy worried about the presidency and worry about all of that that the local vote that we do that we don't we don't care about is really what affects us. Mm-hmm. Your mayors, your governors, mm-hmm. the judges mm-hmm. that sit on the sit on the court in your state and in your city, your the things that we don't see, you're not affected by the president as much as you're affected by the people that run your school system, that run the streets where you lay in state. Because Governor John Bell Edwards had his plan map out the minute the Supreme Court decision was made. Right. Right. I think funny Yeah, I think you're not shaking. I'm sorry. But it's your local <laughs> government. No, I, 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 I completely agree. Why do you think we as people forget that we have midterm elections, state elections, local elections, city elections, uh, uh, parish, and, and for the people that's outside of Louisiana, county elections? Why do we forget about them and only vote for the president? Why is it that we do that? And why? I think we would. Is it, is it, we would I think we would talk to. I think that we were talked to. I think that the presidency get pushed in our face more than any other election. And that's just, that's my opinion. And that's the one that affects the least. It's just not, it's just not as advertised. It's just not as a big deal. I still, I also don't think that there are, um, break, there's a lot of adults who aren't educated on what's the role of who. You know what I'm saying? Like, people are saying, oh, he's the mayor. You don't know that that might not be the mayor's fault. Do you actually know what the mayor's job is? Do you know what your councilman's job is? Do you know what your government? Like, a lot of people say things, but are we really educated in these areas to know, if, okay, if this goes wrong, who am I supposed to hold accountable? Because there's a lot of people should do when that might not be her lane. That might be your councilman's lane. That might, you see what I'm saying? So I think people can know the plan and know what they're supposed to do. Know what our judge is in your area. Know what the court is in your area. And know their, know their job title and hope. Because I don't think we know. I don't. I don't. All right. So. Let's, let me say something. This is this is this is this is this is fun to me. Fun, fun to me though. How do we, we we talk about this every once in a while over here on my channel, and I know you 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 have uh, uh, and what you do is very inspirational. And then some people, how do how do we get the word out? Because if I I sit here I'm sitting here talking to you, there's a couple hundred people in here. But if I was sitting here talking to I talked to Razor Baby Mama, there was a couple two, three four thousand people here. I talk to I talk some stuff about somebody, <laughs> our good friends. Uh, there's two, three thousand people that gonna come. Why? Do, why, why is it when we're talking about something that affects people directly, affects their pocket, affects their lives, affects them bringing up their kids, affects them personally? This affects you right now, today. This affects you. This could be your right. They can make it tomorrow when they take away another right, whether you could go do this or go do that, get a certain job or put your child in a certain school. When they take away that right segregation or something. Or when you walk around and you walk out the store and you see the white interest and the black interest, you're like, what the fuck? When did this happen? Why are the people aren't listening to that? Why what's the problem? What's the problem? To me, because it's like I, I mean it's the what I see is the same people. It's the same people that you can listen to the message of forces and the entertainment. I guess we come to our IG want to be entertained. We don't want to be preached to or teach to. But what, what's what's gonna happen to us? When the people that can, you can change this by voting, you can change this and understanding just what you said, what the local people do, what the councilmen do, what the mayor do. What's the solution to get the people more involved and active into it? How, that's the problem we're having right now. We have to be honest have, with you. I have never saw more people get active in, in, in activism until they get to their front door. And that's just sad to say. But I feel like you don't see so many people 
heartbroken and and, and, and until people learn how to look at life through the lens of other people and not wait till it's them to move, we're going to be entertained by other things. Because what people, what people fail to realize is these things are happening because they know we're asleep at the wheel. They know that our attention is somewhere else. I had a conversation with somebody and I asked them this. It's not a uh, it's not about what going on is we gotta be honest and say what is our attention is. That's a, that's a, that's the truth, Shaky. We we don't like being in that, but we like being at the same. But I don't see how because we end up being represented. So the other people, check it. I have to see whether or anybody else turn around and look at it and see it. And it don't feel good. So why? 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 The things that affect us are going to feel like people don't care to look at things like this. We have more power than we think we have. We have a lot more power. Than you can't tell me, sis. You can't tell me we don't have the power. If you can get on social media and one, I tell you, no one to lie, shit. I got people, I got burn pages that send me messy, messy lies every day. Burn pages. You made a thing to make sure I can see the truth. Tell me how hard it for you to want everybody to know. They spin it. They spin it like poison. But 
I can go all the way. You know, I'm about to get up in a second, and I'm gonna finish listening to you because it's hot. <laughs> I'm, about to, I'm about to go because I'm mad now, girl. It's just, it's just that I just really think that people. People not caring about something that it's a so it's like this all affects all of us all the time. We never know what situations we're gonna be in, and then this is like this is our community. We have to start being more active. We just have to. It's just as much active we're getting with anything else. We have to be active in the things that affect our life. Gas prices high because of us, not because of them. We don't want to put past legislation that talk about renewable energy. We want the gas companies to say, you know what, y'all got all this money, let's get. They making profits while we up here hurting, girl. We can't go go the street for girl gas, girl. I spent up my car the other day seventy dollars. I'm like, wait, what? Girl, I got to go start stripping or something, girl. Get something. And listen, I'm a, and I'm gonna show you this. This the this the letter I push. Right. Okay. So. Well, this ain't uh put this code. That, okay. That's one and then I'm gonna show you the other one. <laughs> People That's that's when I feel like driving this today. And, 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 and then you got the other one. Imagine. When I gotta put in the car, drop her premium, girl. Gas is high, but all I wish we did was just cancel the move. I just really feel like we don't care enough simply because that is hurt in people. We like we scared of each other. It's like we really scared of each other. I just came from the women like empowerment conference book. And women, all right, baby. Women that I didn't know, I know that we hug we didn't we hugged and it felt genuine or what you do and what you do and how can like we scared of that. Right. Isn't we scared right. of that? Right. And if somebody if somebody said okay and I'm going to and you give me what you're doing. So I'm going to make a difference. Maybe just maybe we can shake up a nation. Maybe. All right, shake it. Let me go get out these clothes. Thank you so much. Anytime. Come on through. We got we, we to make these changes, girl. We got to make these changes. Yes, sir. All right. To everybody else, I love y'all. Make sure y'all follow BC. Follow everybody we were talking about today. This is a very Oh, my bad. Hold on. I know it's supposed to be a shakedown. Make sure y'all follow these people. They are smarter than me when it comes to something.